Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to see how to use the Neo 6M GPS module with an Arduino. Um, so in particular I'm going to be using the Arduino Uno and it's the version without Wi-Fi, but it should work more or less universally across the Arduino uh, line. Um, so you'll notice that I do have uh, my Arduino IDE um, for desktop open. I also have Visual Studio Code open. We're going to be adding a particular library with the Arduino desktop IDE, but we're going to be doing most of our development in Visual Studio Code because it's going to be a little uh, easier to read. Um, if you need help installing um, Arduino for Visual Studio Code, uh, go ahead and view one of my previous tutorials where I demonstrate exactly how to do that. Um, so what we will be using in this particular example is we'll be using the Tiny GPS++ module. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to parse our uh, NMEA information that comes back from the GPS. Um, so basically the GPS is going to uh, return a lot of data that we have to parse out and figure out what exactly is the longitude, what exactly is the latitude, other information such as satellite data, so on and so forth. Um, so this module definitely makes life a lot easier for us. And you could easily be using the regular Tiny GPS module as well. It works a little differently, but I think uh, Tiny GPS++ is kind of the go to for now on. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to hit that download button on the Tiny GPS++ page. It'll take you to GitHub. Uh, go ahead and download the latest release. You'll want the zip file. Um, so download the zip archive because that's what we're going to be adding into our Arduino application. Um, so go back into Arduino desktop IDE. Uh, what we want to do is we want to say sketch and we want to say include library and we want to say add zip library. Um, and then we're going to navigate to that zip file and, and include it. After we include it, uh, we should get a little message saying that uh, it's been included in our libraries. We can check out the include library menu. Um, at this point in time, we can really just uh, close out of uh, this application. So that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so now we're going to spend the rest of our time inside of Visual Studio Code. Um, and we're going to try to make this happen. So before I do that, um, and I will show a screenshot in this video, I'll, I'll do that now. Um, what, we're, what we're working with is we're working with the Arduino Uno and the Neo 6M uh, GPS module. The RX pin is plugged into digital pin 4 on my Arduino. And then the TX pin uh, on the GPS module is plugged into the digital uh, pin number 3 on my Arduino. Um, I do have my power hooked up to the 3.3 volt and I have the ground attached as well. Um, so uh, your setup may vary. Um, I don't know, this is just based on what I got it uh, to work with on my Arduino Uno, um, but you may have to fiddle around with things. So let's let's go ahead and start development. Um, what we want to do is we want to um, include a few things. So first of all, we want to include the, the software serial so that way we can interact with the output. Um, so we're going to say include, we're going to say software serial dot h. Um, we're going to include that tiny GPS module, so we're going to say include we're going to say tiny GPS plus plus dot H and we're going to say um, tiny GPS plus and we're going to say GPS. So this is the um, class that we're going to be working with throughout the application. Um, before we actually start adding our code, what we want to do is we want to set up our software serial to uh, work with the two pins that I mentioned, which would be uh, again, um, RX is hooked up to pin four and TX is hooked up to pin 3. So we're going to say software serial. We're going to just call it SS. Uh, you can feel free to uh, name it whatever you like, but we're going to say 3 and 4. All right, next up. Now what we can do is, you know what, I already have serial begin, so we can actually view the, the, the monitoring logs uh, on BOWD 9600, um, but I'm also going to say SS.begin on 9600 as well for the GPS. Now, everything else that we do is going to be inside of our loop. Um, this is where we're going to look for uh, data as it's read from our pins. And we're going to just parse it with that GPS++ module. Um, so we're going to say while, and we're going to say ss.available. Um, so while data is available, so it's while it's greater than zero. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say if gps.encode ss.read. Um, so we're going to read this data. We're going to encode it. If, if there's data um, to encode, uh, that means we've got data. And first step is, we, well, we want to see if the location's been updated. Um, so let's go ahead and say if gps.location.dot 
is updated. Um, so if that's true, uh, then let's go ahead and print out whatever our location is. So I'm going to say serial, and I'm going to say print line, and I'm going to say you know what? Because we're gonna we're gonna be um, formatting our own string here. I'm going to format it so I got to convert everything to strings. So I'm going to say string. I'm going to say GPS dot location dot lat, and I'm going to read uh, up to three decimal places um, of this latitude. Now. Technically, you're gonna have six, um, but I'm only doing three because honestly, I don't want you to know where I live um, exactly down to the meters. Um, so three is gonna be good enough for our example, but note that uh, you can definitely do six uh, in reality. Uh, this is a latitude and longitude. I'm gonna separate it by comma, and I'm gonna do the same thing for our longitude. So I'm gonna say GPS. Well, actually, I'm gonna say string. So I'm gonna cast it as a string. I'm gonna say GPS dot location dot uh, longitude, so LNG, and again, this time I'm only going to do three decimal places uh, to kind of preserve my privacy here. So I'm printing that out. Now we're going to get a lot of data back because the GPS module is going to return it, uh, I don't know, almost every half second, maybe faster than that. I'm going to set a delay, um, so I'm going to say delay, and I'm going to say 1000. So I'm going to have it only print out every uh, one, th uh, one second, so 1000 milliseconds, and I'm going to hit save. Uh, we will need to, since this is a new project, we will need to configure um, our Arduino again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search um, in our um, project. So I'm going to say Arduino. Um, and I'm going to say, you know what, let's go ahead and select the serial port. I'm going to say I'm going to use the Arduino port. I'm going to say that I want to uh, check the uh, baud rate, which I've set to 9600. Uh, which good, which is good. Um, and at this point, I believe we should be good. So if I wanted to, I can go back in here. I can say um, upload and and see what we get. So as you can see in the, in in my output here, it did say that it was uploaded. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our monitor, uh, just so that way we can see what kind of output's happening. Um, so again, I'm going to type in Arduino. Again, this is assuming that you've set Visual Studio Code up. You could definitely use the Arduino desktop IDE, but it'd just be a little more complicated to uh, get around, especially for this video. Um, all right, next step is open serial monitor. Um, the baud rate might be incorrect. Uh, on mine, it's saying that it's it's looking at the baud rate for for 115200. Um, so again, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that real quick. So I'm gonna just change the baud rate. And I'm going to change it to 9600. I'm going to save it. Um, let's just re-upload it. So when you run it, it should start printing out your latitude and longitude coordinates, uh, as you can see in my terminal down below. It should print them out every one second, but you know what? The GPS, depending on your setup, whether or not you have an antenna or not, it could be slower. Um, for one, I, I'm not using an antenna currently, or an external one at least. Um, but you can see that it is printing it out. It is printing out only three decimal places, like I said, so it's not entirely specific to my location. Um, if it were six decimal places, which you could easily change in the output on line 17, um, you could definitely make it more accurate. Um, so again, um, it, it wasn't too much to get this GPS module working, um, but once you do, um, it, it's really neat stuff. And it, it definitely performs a lot better if you have an external antenna. Um, again, this is a Neo 6M that I'm using along with my Arduino Uno.